All right, it's laptop screen replacement day. Uh, from what I understand, this should be a pretty easy process. So we'll see what happens here. Looks like mainly just a screwdriver, Phillips, screwdriver of sorts, and uh, something to pry with that won't scrape up the screen too bad. There's always that, uh, that nerve-wracking feeling when opening something like this for the first time where you don't really know exactly how the clips work. Um, just hoping that the snapping is the clips unclipping rather than snapping, breaking. So I definitely broke off a tab there. I figure out why it's doing that before I get it all off. Okay, so the tabs go like a hook. So if I'm looking down right here from the from the top where I see the screen, like this, and the bezel here, there's a tab. These tabs go like like that with a little notch there. So what I'm going to try and do now to avoid breaking more of these pieces off is lift this side up from the inside to help that scoot that way rather than prying this side up. We'll see if that does any less damage. So I haven't broken all of them. I'm ha there are still like seven or eight attached, but I'd like to, I'd like to keep them attached. I'm not going to use metal on this side. Yeah, okay, okay. So, lesson learned. Um, if you can pry, help, help give some assistance by bringing this inner part of the bezel up and out first. That'll help, the, help keep the hook going this way uh, rather than prying on the outside, you know, giving, having that extra resistance causing things to break like I just broke them. One of those sounded bad, the rest of them sounded all right. Okay, yeah, so in, that, in this case, the tabs are going the other way. So in this case, you, you'd want to pull from down here to pull to pull the tabs like up away that way. Um, on this side, I broke off that tab right there. I hope, you, I hope this is valuable for you. Sounds like there should be about four screws, one, two, three, Four right here securing this. That looks like that would match. Looks like it'll match. This tab here looks like it ought to be bent backwards. It's kind of weird, but let's see what happens. pH zero is too big. pH zero 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 seems to work. So this model has all the same size screws. We'll need to save this tape, so be careful with it. Seems to be stuck pretty well to this foil behind here, so I'm I'm trying to hold down the foil with one hand as I pull up the, ta the tape with another. That goes back towards the port side of the laptop. It does not go up. I th I thought from a different video maybe that of a similar laptop I thought it came up, but it goes back. All right, old screen, new screen. Now the new screen says don't touch. Right there. Uh, I don't know why, but don't touch. Okay, so at first there was no satisfying little click like that happens when plugs usually go in or components fit together like this. And uh, but I felt like I was in. 
and I did keep pressing and found it, it, there was a click. So make, make sure on each side it, it, you feel that, that little snap of sorts as it goes in. All right. I guess the positive thing about breaking all the tabs off of the bezel is that there's less to pinch that little wire there. <clears throat> So this is kind of an interesting wild card for this, for this screen, because it matches, but the tabs are bent forward. I mean, I can't imagine a, a laptop uh, bezel where those tabs should be bent forward. So I'm just going to bend them backward, um, assuming that that is how it ought to go. Uh, before, I, before I snap this on, I want to make sure it works. Now that I think of it, probably should have had the battery <laughs> battery undone. Um, but it was a nice shortcut, uh, having forgotten about it. And it looks a little bit scratchy. That's because this little screen protector is on here. So we also need to also need to take this off. Hey, a tab. Take this off before putting the bezel on. I'm going to start with the bottom, I think. I'm not sure if this is something you should do with it unplugged or not, but it looks like the wires are out of the way from being pinched. Okay, so this, this flexes quite a bit. That's what the screen does behind here, the, the back of the panel, so I'm going to hold my hand back here as I press and snap this back together. Good news, so I was worried that I had too few, uh, too few snaps left on that side after the, um, after the ones broke, but there are plenty of, plenty of little latches that stayed together, which is really good. Even on this, even on this corner up here, that that I, I know some broke off of. Wow. Okay. All right, there it is. I, that was easier than I expected. Awesome! Awesome! Awesome!